Hello everyone and today I've put together six tips to help you take better photos using a flash. Now the first tip is to simply point your flash up because it should be a normal instinct that you should never point your flash directly at your subject. So you don't fire your flash directly at your subject because by doing so it makes your subject look shiny, flat and fake. So for a better effect you want to point it upwards onto the ceiling so your flash goes up onto the ceiling and it bounces back down off of the ceiling so you get the same lighting effect as your standard indoor lighting that is the, uh, the light source comes from above and downwards so with this way you get a much natural looking um, lighting and the effect is a softer ambient lighting now in the case of which you do not have one of these um, off, uh, sorry, external flashes you can always use a hack on your pop-up flash since the camera's pop-up flash isn't uh, entirely customizable, you can't really angle the pop-up flash in any other direction other than head-on. So one thing I like to do if I'm uh, forced to shoot using the pop-up flash is I take a business card. Of course, uh, it works a lot better with a white business card, but a black business card is all I have here. Don't use a black business card for this. Alright, so basically what you do is you place the business card up here. So. At a 45 degree angle, the um, flash fires and it hits the business card and the business card um, directs the light upwards so you get the same kind of effect. But of course, it's not as effective as having the flash itself actually point upwards since you actually lose some light once it hits the business card. Now the second tip is to simply bounce it off the walls. So instead of just plainly shooting it upwards or head on to the subject, you can also point your flash sideways so you can aim the flash at walls so the flash bounces uh, so the flash hits the wall and it bounces off of the wall creating a sort of a three-dimensional effect and it simulates a soft directional light source so while doing this you can actually think of all the walls as um, light sources and diffusers so you can just walk into a room look around the room and think of every single wall in that room as a potential light source so by doing this, you can add a lot more creativity into your composition and your photos won't look as dull. Now the third tip is to use your flash to simulate sunlight. So how do you do that? Alright, so basically you can just treat your flash as the sun. Your flash is the sun and in a small scene, it's actually quite simple to simulate sunlight using your flash. Now by doing so, it adds more life to the subject and it makes the whole scene generally more high key. So to simulate sunlight, all you have to do is just bounce or diffuse the flash off of some surface and the outcome will look shockingly like actual sunlight. Now tip number four is to simply get the flash off of the camera. Yes, experience off camera flashing. Now a lot of cameras nowadays, they have uh, built in um, speed light transmitters so it can do wireless flashing easily. So. Try experimenting with um, different locations and pointing the flash differently. It gives you very uh, different and interesting results. So by getting your flash off of the camera, you can control where your light source is and you have full control over the placement and pointing of the light. Now apart from that, tip number five, you can also use your flash to shoot plants. So you might think when uh, generally when shooting outdoors, you want to rely on available natural light. But still, if you're shooting uh, plants, you can actually use the flash to your advantage. So it adds more life and transparency to your plants. Basically, I recommend um, flashing the plants from somewhere behind. So by doing so, you can actually make the plant somewhat look fresher and gives it a little bit more of that life in there. And it adds a whole lot of dimension to your shot. So as you can see, all these shots that I've shown you were all taken with the use of a flash. Now, tip number six, go manual. Ditch the TTL on the flash, set the flash exposure and flash output all manually. Now, why ditch the TTL? Because auto flash can be quite unpredictable. So an over or under exposed shot could take you by surprise since the flash exposure is not controlled by you. And also exposure may also fluctuate from shot to shot due to inconsistent metering. So just flat, uh, set the flash output manually and your exposure remains consistent until you readjust it. So that is it guys. Thanks for watching. This is six tips to help you take better flash photos. Leave a 
like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.